We spoke with several graduating VCU art students to hear their thoughts as they embark on the world of work. Here is our In Focus segment. My name is Winston, and my area of study is communication arts with a concentration in visual effects. Shane Herrera, and my area of study is painting and printmaking. Norin Gelberg Hagmeyer, and my uh, area of study is kinetic imaging, and I have a minor in sculpture. What do you see as the prospects for making money as an artist moving forward? I'm going into a more uh, studio-based um, working environment where I would like sign a contract, like a working contract, and hopefully get health insurance. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I see my money being steady in that way, working in the studio, but I also still want to do freelance work and have fun with that. I don't necessarily make a lot of physical art that can be sold, so I'm not looking to like exhibit and sell. Um, but I guess a lot of it would come from like maybe doing some freelance work or grants and like applying to be like artists in residency and some of those have like stipends. So yeah, I feel like maybe making money as an artist is a little bit more complicated for me, but like working other jobs on the side is something that supports my artistic practice. So for me, I have a lot of other, just like, I don't wanna say hobbies, but other interests of mine, like photography, and then um, of course like my painting and fine art. But you don't have concerns about making money. I mean, you think it's doable. No, I did freshman year, and I think it hindered a lot of my work, cause I only really started making work that I felt would sell. And so I lost like a good like two years of me like really using my own voice in my own work. And so I found that again, like junior, junior year and senior year. So it's been really good. When you hear the term starving artist, which you've probably heard a lot, what do you think? I used to be uh, bullied by some family members growing up. They would point to homeless people on the street and be like, that's you when you grow up. And you know, that's rude. Like you don't know what a homeless person is going through. You're closer to being homeless than being a billionaire. So, um, and, uh, and I think the term starving artist is lazy. Is there a connection between the current emotional and mental state of the world and what art might be able to do to help solve some of the problems that people aren't solving very easily on their own? I'll be like talking to someone and they're like, oh, I can't even draw a stick figure. And I'm like, okay, well, but I'm sure there's something creative that you want to do to express yourself or like just take like paint and like just, you know, and like I think that is so soothing and like also then not putting that pressure on yourself for it to be something marketable. Like it doesn't, art doesn't have to be something that sells, it can just be something that's enriching to you. Thank you for watching. Continue to follow Virginia news and stories by subscribing to our VPM YouTube channel.